After eight years, Derek Carr's test comes. Whether he deserves it or not, Derek Carr has taken the brunt of the criticism for the Raiders' most disappointing stretch as their quarterback and public face over the previous eight seasons. Carr has been forced to account for the team's lack of success and shoulder the majority of the blame despite the chaos caused by many coaching changes, different regime shifts, and a squad that at times ran like a turnstile. In 126 career starts with the Raiders, Carr has a 56-70 record. Even though he sustained a leg injury in the second-to-last game of the 2016 season, they have only made it to one playoff appearance under his leadership. When Carr went injured in 2016, the Raiders had a 12-3 record. This is a 44-67 year difference. Many have questioned whether or not he is capable of managing a successful NFL club after the cliff they went down and the subsequent years of misery. Carr, both publicly and privately, accepts that he will be the target of criticism and blame as a starting quarterback in the NFL. His inner circle has been desperate for the proper support cast to be established around him so that he may respond to his detractors. That cast has finally been put together. This is it, the time has come. Sunday's game against the Los Angeles Chargers at Allegiant Stadium will be the only thing standing in the way of Oakland Raiders quarterback Derek Carr's first postseason berth since 2016. Whether the 9-7 Raiders or 9-7 Chargers make it to the playoffs will mostly depend on the support of their teammates. However, history shows that the quarterback's performance typically influences the result in games that are on the line. That means that Carr's moment has arrived on Sunday. For him, it's an opportunity to reaffirm the things that he and his followers have long held to be true. Or, on the other hand, confirm the skeptics. Regardless of how he performs, his future in Las Vegas and the Raiders' long-term intentions will be decided by his performance. Carr has grasped the concept. He's on board but he also isn't going to allow the significance of the event alter his attitude or outlook. Furthermore, he and the Raiders have faced the same level of pressure and importance in the three must-win games leading up to this one. His semi-postseason run has prepared him for the platform he is going to walk into on Sunday at Allegiant Stadium in an odd kind of manner, if that makes any sense. When the Raiders beat the Browns three weeks ago and the Colts last week, Carr was able to overcome in-game blunders to lead the team on game-winning drives. There is something meaningful about his heroics in the last minutes of both games, especially in the locker room. Maybe we'll get a sneak peek at what's in store for Sunday. Carr, on the other hand, believes the Raiders' recent battle has shown something. Carr's performance will have a significant impact on whether the Raiders' season continues by one more week. It's a huge undertaking, but it's one he's been looking forward to for his whole professional life.